Hi, I'm Joel Gulick with Computer Solutions. Today I want to talk to you about this HP Color LaserJet 3600N. Um, basically it's an error message that people are getting on these types of printers. Uh, the error message is basically 10.92.00, cartridge not engaged. Um, this error is kind of common in this printer and it's usually due to rough wear and tear. A lot of times it's actually being broken by the individuals with the cartridges. And I'm just going to break down what you're experiencing and the areas that you want to look at. Um, again, there's two areas where this could break, and I'm just going to show you how you can kind of troubleshoot which side it's going to be uh, to what you want to look at. Um, what I'm going to show you here is that on this cartridges as well, it's mainly a lot of times dealing with the cartridges, but if you look on the sides, a lot of times it'll say that the door's not closed and the cartridge is not engaged. What you want to look for is which side does not look like it's closed all the way. Um, and on this case, it's going to be on our right hand side. You can clearly see that there's a little bit of a gap, kind of a bigger space than normal, and uh, that should not be occurring. It's one indicator that the door's not closing all the way. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you uh, what's going on in the inside. Um, as you can tell when I open it up, these flaps should actually be coming down to allow for the actually electrostatic transfer belt to get close to it so they can get the powder. But in this case, as we show, when we go up, it's not lifting these things down. So there's a problem somewhere in here. And the best way to kind of troubleshoot is to basically, in this case, what I've been able to do and get the best result is I'll go ahead and remove the actually transfer belt off. And I'll look by using the transfer belt arms on both sides. I'll look. And in both sides, there are going to be locks that you're going to look for. In this case here, up in this top corner, these belts seem to be locking. They're actually clips that lock into place to prevent the actual cartridges from sliding out on the left-hand side. And on the right, these actually come down, and this actually should be bringing open all the cartridges. In this case here, we're not getting that result. So I'm going to go in and show you what's happening here. So I'm going to pull out the cartridges themselves. I'll usually just stack them because they're going to go right back in. So what we have now is an open, open printer, no cartridges inside. Got this off, and basically what I'm going to look for, and if you could look over here, I'll show you the clips that we have. So you want to look at this one. That's going to be the brightest one. So when I close the door, that clip should be coming down, and that should be occurring. So that's a good sign on this side. Now if we go to the other side, not only should we have clips coming down, but we should also have levers going up. And in this case here, we're not getting that result very well. As you can tell, there's some movement here, and it's really just not moving properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it forward to show you what actually it should be doing. So once it's in, it should push these all the way up. These should go all the way up. These arms should come all the way down. And as you can tell, the movement now that you're seeing. So in this case here, what's happening is on this side, either a spring or the clip is broken uh, for the locking mechanism. So once it's actually in place, and I'm going to put one of the cartridges back in so we can show you what you could be, ex what you should be able to experience with this. So I'm going to put in the, this one here. So once I place it in, when I go to close the lid, and this happens when you close the lid, is that once this is down, boom, that should open up, exposing this part of the cartridge itself to the printer and obviously when you open the door it shuts it and again in this case here it's working with one but once I place all the cartridges back in what's wrong? make sure you put your cartridges in the right place too that's obviously going to be an important So in this case, when I go to the close it, they're going to start to open when I get to a certain point that's popping. So something's wrong on this side. Obviously, it's either going to be one of the clips or one of the springs are broken. We're going to dive into it later and actually see what's going on. But I just wanted to show this video basically on how to actually just troubleshoot the printer itself with this error message. Again, the error message that you're getting is going to be 10.92.00, cartridge is not engaged check the door. Uh, obviously the door is kind of going to be an indicator of what's going on. Necessarily is it going to be this side or this side with the door? It's not going to really tell you by that. What you're going to have to check is through the what they call ET 
ETB, which stands for Electrostatic Transfer Belt. And uh, they're going to kind of give you the sign indicators of what's going on. On this side, again, these work fine. It's mainly this side, and you can tell now that since it's popped off, it's just not going to work at all. So that's where the error message we're getting. That's what we're going to address. So it's obviously on the right-hand side. There's a lock cartridges over here. There are two on this side, and there is one on this side. The one on this side controls all the cartridges. There's one that controls the color, and there's one that controls the black on this side. They're two separate uh, little locks. Um, they're just locking mechanisms that lock the cartridge in place. Obviously, now that it's in place, it's not really letting me pull it out on this side. This side's clearly going to let me in, but again, if we actually had it working properly, I should not be able to pull these out. Um, but that's pretty much it on this one here. Um, obviously, if you have any other questions about this type of issue with this error message you're receiving, feel free to contact us or visit our website, uh, look up our contact information, or stop by one of our stores. And again, we want to thank you for stopping by and looking at this video today, and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the future. Take care.